What's poppin' with Scoochie guys? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. As you can probably tell by the title, today I'm gonna go supercharge my car, but I'm not only gonna charge my car to 90%, but 100% for the first time ever. And I've never charged my car to 100% before because I've always wanted to extend the life of the battery and just keep it as healthy as possible. But today I'm kind of curious about the range and distance in my car. So we're gonna charge to 100% and I'm doing this for you guys. So anyways, let's go. Alright guys, so we just plugged in the car at 20% and I'm already sitting at 28%. It's crazy how fast this car charges. So it says it's going to take about 50 minutes to get all the way up to 100% and usually it would take around 35 minutes or so. So I'm kind of surprised that the last 10 minutes really takes that long. But again, it's kind of like filling up a water in a cup where initially you're just pouring that water in a cup because it's empty and you're kind of careless about it. But as you're topping off the cup, you're slowly going to pour it in just gradually because you don't want to overspill. So I guess it's the same kind of thought process in these cars. So today's experiment was something that I thought of last week. I was always curious about how much range I would get at a full charge. And I realized a lot of people that are looking into the SR Plus, they have the same question as well. So I thought from an owner's perspective, this would provide more clarity around that question. So again, we're charging from 20% all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to capture how long it takes as well as how much it costs. So it's been about 12 minutes since we plugged the car in and it says 45 minutes left remaining and I'm not sure how accurate that is. I'm pretty sure that's just an estimation. But as you can see, we're up to 55% already, which is insanely quick. So I got 35% in just about 10 minutes. And if you look down here, it costs about $5.58 for the current session. So charging from 20 to 55%, it cost me around this much. But again, the charging cost really varies depending on location. So this is the Milpitas location in California and your location could charge you less or it could charge you more depending on where you live. So just something to keep in mind for you guys. But yeah, since nobody else is here right now, I'm not sharing the same power source as anybody else. It's charging relatively quick. And a lot of people don't like to charge the car to 100% because it causes battery degradation. So if you want the healthiest battery around, make sure you charge to 80 or 90% max. And Elon Musk said himself, if you want the most efficient car possible, you only want to charge up to that range. If you charge to 100%, it makes the regen braking not work and the car is less efficient. All right, you guys, so just a time check. It's been around 25 minutes or so. I think we started at 9.31 and it's currently 9.57 a.m. It says it's going to take around 30 minutes or so left to get from 78 all the way up to 100%. But who knows if it'll actually take that long. I certainly hope not because I don't like sitting here forever because it's super hot. It's 83 degrees out here in California and recently it's just been extremely humid as well. So hopefully this goes by a little bit faster. But as you can see here, it costs around $9.30 for the current session or $9.61 since it just changed. But I'm all the way up to 79% now, and as you can see, it's starting to slow down in terms of how fast it's charging. It's only charging at 172 miles per hour, which originally it started around 500. So the reason for this is because of the water example I mentioned earlier, as you're initially pouring water into a cup, you don't really care about how much water you pour in because the glass is empty, but as you start to top off, that's when you slow down. Oh, by the way, you guys, if you're new to the channel and you're looking into getting a Tesla, make sure to check out this video right here. I'll link it in the card above as well as down below. It's about supercharging etiquette. It's about just general facts about supercharging. So make sure to check that video out afterwards. There's a lot of good information there. But yeah, the remainder of this time, I think I'm just going to sit back and listen to some music since it's super hot. I'm going to pump the AC up. So see you guys in a bit.
right, you guys, we finally got done supercharging the car. It's currently 10.37 a.m., so it took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but as you can see, we're currently sitting at 100%, and it looks like it's still topping off just a little bit, but again, we started at 9.31 a.m., and now it's 10.38 a.m., so it took a little bit over an hour. So that's one of the reasons why um, I recommend charging only up to like 60% or 70% if you're going on road trips or something, or at least enough to get you to the next supercharger because it's a lot faster to charge from zero all the way up to like 50 than it is from 50 all the way up to 100%. So as you guys witnessed, it took a lot longer at the end, but initially it was super quick. So just a little tip for you guys. But now let's go ahead and go home. And there's one more thing that I wanted to test, which is the regen braking. Since Elon said regen braking doesn't really kick in at 100%, I've never felt that before in this car, so we're gonna go test it out real quick. Before we do that, I forgot the most important thing for this video, which is the range. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Let's open up the car's menu, go to display, and then distance. So at a full charge, I have 237 miles. So this car is advertised at 250, but I have 237. I think that's mainly because of my driving habits. So this is completely normal, you guys. And I've had the car for over nine months now, I believe. So, you know, time time is hard to tell nowadays just because I've had the car for so long. But let's go ahead and look into... I forgot where the energy graph is. Oh, here it is. So this is my average. So it's pretty low. It's not too bad. At least that's for 30 miles. I think it gets worse as it... Oh, actually, it got better. 219, 175. So I think this is actually pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing, but... If you're under, like, 200 and something, 250 or so, I think it's pretty good. But again, you guys, 237 miles of range. I'm pretty happy with it. So it didn't really go down that much since I've had the car. So let's go ahead and test out the regen braking now. So there's one thing I forgot to mention to you guys besides the distance, which is the price. So this whole session from 20% all the way up to 100 took about $13.02, which is not bad at all compared to how much I used to spend in gas. So just a little bit of an estimate for you guys. And again, 237 miles of range. Okay, you guys, so I just tested the regen braking and Elon is right. Like it doesn't work at all. So this is me accelerating at 15 miles an hour. And if I let go of the brake or if I let go of the accelerator, I mean, this is what happens. So it's like a normal regular car where it just rolls. So regen braking isn't really working that well. All right, you guys, we're gonna test regen braking one more time to see if it works or not. And we're gonna get up to 25. And if we let go of the accelerator, not braking or anything it it is slowing down but it is slowing down a lot slower than if regen braking was in effect so yeah there you guys have it regen braking does not really work when you're fully charged and that's another reason why you shouldn't charge to 100 percent anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up it really does help with the youtube algorithm and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below because i have a ton of tesla content that i think you'll really like so make sure to do that i really appreciate it but as always thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace